A walk home from the bus stop takes a very strange turn for two middle school students. Good evening, I'm Jeremy Maskell. Melissa Fry has the night off. Two Davis middle school students got off at their bus stop just blocks from home. And after a bizarre encounter, one lost a cell phone to thieves. KETV News Watch 7's Alexander Stone has more on what you need to watch for. Jeremy, the two boys were walking home when three adults in a car pulled up next to them in the street. The encounter that followed has one mom wanting to send a message to other parents and kids to watch out. I was at work and he called and said, Mom, don't get mad, I called the police. Shauna Struck got that alarming phone call from her son after school Wednesday. I knew my husband was home, so I called him and I said, Get outside. Boys are calling the cops. I don't know what's going on. Struck son Joseph got off the bus as normal near 105th and Crown Point. Joseph and his friend were walking home when a car pulled up next to them. And they'd asked the boys, um, "Did you see a little, chihuahua a little black, black chihuahua walking running around? They lost their dog, and you know they, he said that they acted all upset." The thieves asked to use a phone, wanting to call the Humane Society to find their lost dog. When they pulled up, I was like. Kind of nervous, so like I kind of felt like they were going to steal it. Joseph says when his friend handed over his brand new iPhone, the thieves took off. A friend that I had 911, you want me to call? And he was like, Yes, I would love you to call. Police came and filed a report. Officer James Shade says kids can get conned when they're just trying to help. Adults should never be asking kids for help for anything. Uh, they shouldn't ask you for directions, they shouldn't ask you for your cell phone. And that's exactly the lesson Joseph says he learned. I learned you should never, like, really trust somebody you don't know. For Mom Shauna, the phone theft was too close a call. When we told the kids, um, if you're close enough, they can reach your phone, they're close enough to reach you. And that was one of the biggest, scariest things, I think, as a mom. Officer Shade tells me they have not seen a pattern of incidents like these, but it's always a good idea to be on the lookout. A letter was sent out to three area schools today giving parents a heads up about that incident. Alexander Stone with that important information tonight. Alexander, thanks.